About every year or so, we like to have ultramarathoner Jared Buchanan here on the morning show because we think his story is so inspirational. Well, we're not the only ones. His friend Daniel Herzog agrees so much so they combined to make a documentary called Beautifully Broken about Jared, who, by the way, just completed the Cocodona 250-mile race in Arizona earlier this month. Good to see you again, and a pleasure, Mr. Herzog, a pleasure to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm doing great. Yeah, thanks for both being here yeah. today. Okay, first things first, for people who have not seen you before, tell us about what happened in the Cocodona 250. So this was the second year. It was much harder this year. It included an extra 10,000 feet of climbing. First day was uh, 100 degrees. We're going up from Black Canyon City up the Bradshaw Mountains, Bradshaw Mountains to Jerome, Jerome all the way to Iron King, and then uh, down to Flagstaff. So absolutely brutal. Um, but you know what, Tim? One step at a time. It comes yep. back to purpose and passion with my father's note to help other people like me and just having a good attitude. Um, Anything can happen in these races, and um, I've really adapted a mindset from like Viktor Frankl on Man's Search for Meaning when he talks about the last of the human freedoms being your ability to consciously choose your attitude in any given situation. So um, anytime it gets hard, I just slow down, remember what I'm fighting for, and trying to help people out there. Yeah, you had mentioned your father. You lost him to suicide, a former police officer. Unfortunately, that's something that a lot of police officers have to deal with, as the general population as well. Part of why you got into running, and that's sort of where the idea for the documentary documentary came in. Tell me what your impetus was. So I met Jared about six or seven years ago, and around that time I first met Jared's mother, Trish, and that's where I first heard the story. And it was uh, maybe a little bit after that where I met him and really got to know him. And I've always been fascinated by Jared. I, yeah. And over time, I just kind of like, he has such a positive energy. Um, there's so many inspirational quotes that he has. And one of the rules of documentary filmmaking is like you have to have a captivating subject. Right. And we would, him and I joked about it for years. And then last summer, I was over his house and we were just having a conversation. We were filming something else. And I said, I think this is something we can do. And we started filming last September. And I said, let's document the journey and let's let's see what it takes mentally, physically, and let's let's right. get into your backstory more. What, mm -hmm. What's your drive and your why? But mm -hmm. how do you literally document a journey while he's busy running 250 miles short of you running backwards with the camera? So it's 250 a, miles. It was, I, I have to say, it was a team, it was a team effort with yeah. all of us. So me, Jared, my brother, Matt Herzog, and then his coach, uh, Matt Fryman. Mm -hmm. um, the logistics were the hardest part. Um, that was something that I knew was gonna be very difficult because I'm looking at Jared on a map following his coordinates. I'm looking on a, a Google map, figuring out where can, what are the cross sections? Where can I find Jared? Yeah. What's Jared's sleep schedule gonna be? Mm -hmm. um, what's his eating schedule gonna be? Uh, all of these different things. So there was, but it all came together, I, I mean, amazingly. It was yeah. great. I can't wait to see it. And of course, it, it, like you were saying, alluding to, it's more than just the running. It's, it's about how being able to run and being able to push yourself has changed how you think about yourself and how you think about the world. I know mm -hmm. you've talked about that before, but mm -hmm. if people haven't seen previous interviews, try to give us a little bit of a, a sense of how that process went for you. Yeah, so I think really just because of some of the things that have happened in my life, I've been able to accept these things, um, find forgiveness, and twist almost a dark negative narrative into something positive and constructive for people. And um, my main purpose, again, just comes back to my note, that note from my father, you know, make my death an issue so you can get help for other people yeah. like me. That's why I do this, and um, it's, it's, it, it's given me a positive life, and um, I just want to help people. You just want to help, and yeah. you're going to, and this is mm -hmm. a new medium by which he can help people. Yeah. How can people, uh, by the way, one last quick question. Yeah. Be beautifully Broken, where did that name come from? Jared, tell him. Yeah, it just, uh, it, it kind of came up with just a fact and ideology that I, I still consider myself a broken person, but um, if you look at the story and everything I've overcome from um, you know losing my father to getting hit by that car and, and surviving that and just really reconnecting and, and finding strong relationships with my mother and my brother and um, just coming back, getting the pieces back together right. and becoming a man who's grateful for the things, believe it or not, that have happened that have turned him into someone who's um, positive and lightning and a good source of inspiration for other people and just Absolutely. trying to help people like my dad. Absolutely. You know? Well, Jared, Daniel, we're out of time, but real quick, how can people see when and uh, how can they watch Beautiful so the, Broken? The goal is to have the documentary done sometime in 2024. Uh, you can follow us now at uh, Beautifully Broken documentary that's our Instagram feed and we're gonna just start teasing out content um, 
until the release of the film. You got it. Let's get you back on once it releases. How yeah. about that? Awesome. Absolutely. Thank, thank you, you so you much, again, Jared. Yeah, thank you. Cool. We <laughs> make it a yearly thing. Thanks a lot. Thank you yeah. so much, Daniel. Yeah. A pleasure to meet you. Awesome. You too. You heard 100 degrees. Imagine running in that. Thankfully, we don't have to deal with those temperatures, at least not yet. But